The move copy body command is an excellent tool for working with multi-body parts and is especially useful when working with imported models that don't contain a parametric feature history to make changes to the design. In previous releases, move copy body features have supported the use of equations and configurations to define and control translation and rotation parameters, but with one significant limitation which has since been removed. So let's take a look at the new and improved move copy body command in SOLIDWORKS 2025. If you're an advanced user, you may already know that equations and configurations have been supported by move copy body for some time now, but this was only true when using the default delta x, y, and z fields for translation, or the Euler's angular fields for rotation. This meant that equations could not be used if a direction reference was specified, imposing a significant limitation for the tool, and this has since been removed. When using translation in move copy body, once a direction reference has been selected, simply type an equal sign into the distance field that appears, and you'll notice global variables, functions, and file properties appear similar to other equation dialogs. You can use these as you see fit, along with operators and constants, to build out equations and create more powerful design intent for your models. The same process applies to rotation, where you'll find that after selecting a rotation reference, typing an equal sign in the angle field that appears now shows the same options. If you're interested in configuring move copy body features, it's important to note that the configuration button won't appear when initially creating them. You'll need to complete the feature first with a desired translation or rotation for the active configuration, then edit the feature in order to see the configuration button and control whether the changes to the feature are applied to the active configuration, all configurations, or specified configurations. As a final note, keep in mind that you do need at least one other existing configuration for this button to appear. And if preferred, these translation and rotation parameters can now be activated and controlled in configuration tables and design tables if desired, creating even more opportunity to improve design efficiency. So what do you think of the new and improved move copy body command? If you found this video useful, do us a big favor and give it a like so other SOLIDWORKS users can find it too. And if you're looking to learn more about what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2025, consider subscribing to the channel for our latest releases or visit our full What's New series available now at solidprofessor.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.